Hello boss, my name is Frank from Dago New NJ. Today I will show you the detailed information about our 215 kilowatt hour energy storage system. This system is 1.8 meter wide and 1.0 meter deep and 2.4 meter height. These parameters is now including the size of the 3 kilowatt hour air conditioner. Let me to open the cabinet door and show you the detailed world. This system has separated in two different sections, the battery section and the control section. As you see, there are 15 battery packs, and the layout of the battery pack is the 1P16S, and the battery cell we are using is 208 ampere hour. It was very popular in last year and in the beginning of this year. Right now in the industrial field, the 314 ampere hour battery cell is become more and more popular in the short future. If you are looking for the larger capacity, such as 241 kilowatt hour energy storage, we can provide for you too. On the top area, there is a lighting system. No visual, no good. Also, there are a few sensors, the smoking sensor and the fire detector sensors. Behind those sensors, there is a fire distinguished system in some emergency situation, but very less likely to happen. Those sensors will inform people to know and automatic to active the fair distinguished system. And on the top of the rear, there is a hole. It will allow the extra heat to go outside of the cabinet. Okay, let back to the battery pack. During the charge and discharge time, the temperature of the battery cell will increase. The high temperature will damage the consistency of the battery cell and will decrease the service life of the battery cell. Our factory authorized the university with their professor to design the airflow. There is a heat dissipation panel between each battery cell plus the main airflow and the larger silent brushless fan for the battery pack. With the 3 kilowatt hour air conditioner, our system can work in the best situation no matter outside temperature is minus 20 degrees or over 6 degrees. Most of people will think those 15 battery packs are same, but the answer is no. If you look closely, there is a battery pack A and there is a battery pack B. Those unique design, it can reduce the length of the wearing from the positive pole to the negative pole. Also, it can decrease the waste of the energy and lower the risk of the wearing crossing. On the bottom, it is a high voltage box. We also call it battery management system. So this system will know exactly of the battery's temperature, current, voltage, state of charge, state of health. It is a commander of the batteries. During the transportation, we'll shut down this system by turn off the switch handle. On my left hand side, it is the control section. On the top area, we place a well-known brand of UPS, which is uninterrupted power supply. If the system runs out of power, the UPS can offer the electricity for you to control and check the system. Below that, here is our signal control panel and the fair extinguish control panel. Both of them serve for the EMS, which is energy management system. This system can help us to communicate with other systems through the communication, feedback, control, and monitor function. On the bottom, here is our PCS, which is power convention system. It converts the alternative current from the power grid to the directly current for the energy storage system, or it can do the opposite way. To wrap it up, here are some key features that will help you to, to know more details. And thank you for watching. I'm Frank. If you are looking for more details, let us know and I will send a catalog to you.